Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. You saw what happened. He's the troublemaker. Oh, you're a true mainlander. A real princess. You strut around with your la da ways, and then, as soon as the pressure arises, you start squealing. You don't have what it takes to drink my whiskey. You've got to earn it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak, then. I reserve the right to answer or not. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland, for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, Who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. I've got what I need. Anything else? The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water, when our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland, then... I've got what I need. Anything else? Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else?
Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. Oh, yeah? That must have been before you came looking for a fight in my bar. Oh, come on. Because of a little tussle. Drinking it here is a privilege, and I grant the privilege to whoever I want. Anything else? That'll be all for now. What you looking at, stranger? The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. to treat us like this. This blackboard hasn't been used in a long while. The Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. What a macabre. 
Scarborough souvenir. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. I've brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. I've brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners. And the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling. But no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. I was looking at your photograph, the one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. I found a threatening letter, signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that, but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. The Miraculous Catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. 
Go read the story of the sailor's return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. We'll follow its reader and appear at various locations. You again. What do you know about the Hawkins warehouse? If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams. That sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? I read the article on the Miraculous Catch. Interesting local folklore. Don't get it into your head to repeat that round here. It's more than folklore. On that day, the crew of the Scylla caught an exceptional catch. The biggest whale ever caught. And they saved dock water from famine. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then... I've got what I need. Anything else? Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. Oh, yeah? That much- Oh, come on. Drinking it here? Anything else? That'll be all for now. What? Another break? One of those damn sailors came looking for trouble again. But he won't- I told you to beat it.
We're no longer at home on our own island. Calm down. It's not worth the effort. I told you that Floki. He'll see what a You're back again. What can I do for you? I shall be on my way. So come back. Do their work. Hey, Sullivan, can't you go any faster? And the same goes for you, sir. Move along. I'm looking for this address Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah, and so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You That's can't no understand. Way to treat You're not an oh, yeah. You didn't tell me that the warehouse I was looking for was right in front of us. Because its owner is dead. And I don't want to see you hanging around it. Now, please, leave us to our work. You can't That's understand. No way don't put that you didn't tell me that the because it's a and I don't now please. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. That's no way to treat an omen. What could have done so much damage? You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. Where do you think you're going? I thought that the Hawkins case had been closed. That's true. So what are you doing on guard duty in front of this warehouse? <laughs> Who's asking the questions here, the cop or the tourist? Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? What's the difference between a police officer and a private detective? The badge? Exactly. Apart from that piece of metal, there's nothing that sets us apart. You think so? We're looking for the same thing, you and I. Okay, okay, spare me the next verse. I'll tell you what I know. There are sailors who think that there's a beast prowling around the docks. And then again, these guys panic at the thought of bringing a rabbit onto a boat, so... I see. And there are others who would like to use the warehouses for their goods. Who are they? Sorry. I really can't talk about them. You again. I told you to- No need to get work. No idea. You better keep it shut. <laughs> Boy, we don't have a clear conscience. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. Cap, she's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope he had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> She sounds frightening, your boss. 
And she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. So, who are you? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. What are you guarding, exactly? Listen, Bonehead, we already told you that we're guarding our boss's turf. I bid you, gentlemen, farewell. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, nose around too much, you'll have dealings with her. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. If you want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. I shall take my leave. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. This ratchet device seems to be usable. A handle. It must come from these old winches. I could use this old winch to lift the grating.
would be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Looks like everything is in its place. All that's left is to try to turn this handle. 